What's up, fairy tale fans? This is Reese FC Manga to review Fairy Tale Chapter 301 The King of Dragons. So, it starts off really with Wendy use, like, drawing a magic circle to basically summon up the dragon's soul. Um, she summons it, and then straight away out comes this big ass looking scary dragon roaring everywhere. Everyone is literally looking at their back to crap their pants. Until, well, the dragon starts laughing at them, saying he loves seeing their shot, he loves seeing people's shot faces when he turns up. So he introduces himself as Zirconis, the Jade Dragon. He recognises basically what the magic being used to summon him. He's looking around, so like, where's Grandine? Where's Grandine? And he looks down and it's like, oh, so it's this little dragon slayer who revived me. He's like, nuts, he's basically like, stay away from Wendy. And he's like, no, I'm going to eat her. But then obviously he's like, nah, I'm just joking. It's like, this dragon has some weird, weird sense of humour. So yeah, and then the cat basically the cats ask what's going like you know what happened what what basically what happened to you guys? He's like I've got nothing to say to you humans. They're like but we're cats. He's like okay, so this is what happened. He's like what the heck? He's like he's he's a weird dragon. He's got some weird humor. So yeah, he basically goes on to tell the history of the drag history of the dragons. How it all happened four hundred years ago. Basically, dragons ruled over humans were nothing but food to them until basically a couple dragons are just like no nah, you know what we should try to coexist with them you know they inhabit the world as well we should just like exist together half the dragons were like nope so this split obviously caused a big war between all the dragons the war basically tore everything apart destroyed everything so yeah it looked like it wasn't going to go anywhere and the good dragons who went to coexist to the humans they were just like you know what they taught the base they went and taught the humans dragon slayer magic so that's where it came from this is all good, you know. They basically was able to defeat half people who didn't want all the dragons. Was like, no, we don't want to help. Don't want to be with you guys. Until basically some of the humans got a bit, you know, over the top as humans would get, and started killing their own dragons as well. Thus, you know, becoming more powerful, evolving their dragon slayer magic, bathing in all the blood of the defeated dragons. So yeah, that's kind of like how the dragon slayer magic evolves. And as they're doing that, they kind of became, they start to look a bit more like the dragons. So. That's kind of like, you know, we see all nuts and that go into their dragon overdrive mode where they end up getting all the scales and everything. And that's kind of like how, that's basically the evolution of it. So we find out basically that doing this, they started looking more and more like a dragon. And then the one human, it ended up being like one human ended up becoming the new king of the dragons. They ended up starting looking a hell of a lot more like a dragon. And basically the king's name was Agnolia. So yeah, that big ass black dragon, which pretty much killed them all seven years which almost killed them all seven years ago used to be a human uh the king basically had his little tournament which he called the view sire the festival of the dragon king that's where it all originated from so just as he's like you know getting into his story getting into it now he just completely vanishes when he's just like his spirit's basically gone on that's nirvana so they can't do anything left they can't do anything more they can't hear nothing more the next thing the White Knight Deloria comes along. He's a guy who's got the moons, the Eclipse Plan project, saying that basically, well, it was Zeref who helped transform Agnolia into a dragon. So his plan now is, well, if you destroy Zeref, that's the first step to basically destroying everything that he's created. So you've got Agnolia, all the demons, everything, and that is what his Eclipse Plan is. So you go. That is a quick break. That was that. Uh, well, a quick summary of Chapter Three Hundred One. It was a good chapter. I enjoyed it. You know, you get to see a big ass dragon, you see kind of like what they're really like, because, well, we haven't really seen any of the dragons. All we've really seen is like flashbacks, so you know some of them are friendly, what they're like, but now we actually get to see what their personality is really like, which is pretty cool. So I know this chapter really felt heavily influenced by Skyrim. I don't care what anyone says. Seeing that whole thing is just like, yep, a lot of Skyrim action going on. <laughs> so yeah, um, rating wise, you know, I'm going to give this chapter a, a 9 because, well, yeah, I enjoyed it. But don't take my word for it, obviously. Check it out for yourselves. See what you guys think of it. I liked it because, well, yeah, like I said, you get to see the dragons. There's nothing wrong with, see there's nothing wrong with that, but you get, finally get to see them, see what they're all like, see what they're all about. And we get to find out a bit of history of the fairy tale, a uh, bit of his fairy tale history. So, guys, that has been Chapter 301. Um, you know, the usual comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think and yeah, I'll see you next week.